Welcome back, folks, for the Fishing Planet Anniversary Cup Qualifier 2 Guide. Real quick, guys, I'm going to be gone today, so I don't know when I will be able to do my stream. And because I'm not able to do it right away, I'm going to give you this information as early as I can to help you guys all out. Um, as you guys know, Qualifier 2 last year, I had a really good run, just had a terrible luck on sizes. I think I caught uh, 20 or 25 Atlantic salmon, and only four of them were over 10 pounds. That's about as atrocious luck as you're going to get on sizes, because they can get as big as 12 here. Uh, with that being said, I did notice an uh, interesting thing about my run last year. Uh, I used like five or six spots, but only two of them were really good. And I'm only going to show you them because I don't want to waste your time. You can obviously catch Atlantic salmon in a lot of different places here and with a lot of different lures, and they can seem good for a second. But consistently, uh, the bullet spinner and the single spoon, definitely more the bullet spinner. Um, and in the, these two spots here on the concrete dock. So you can go to the left right here. Make sure you're high in the water. You won't catch anything else. And or you will catch a couple bass and stuff. But, I mean, you'll definitely focus much more on like salmon the higher you go in the water. And then in the front of this boat right here, I will show you guys some marks as well. Um, and we will talk about the poles because this is a very interesting one. Um that is the mark spot two and the spot one right here if you want to put them in on your mark or on your map uh you can use other spots like the you can go straight out at the dam or at the lighthouse or off of sandy cape or off the boat dock little line in some places but these are the gen these are last year i wasted a lot of time at other spots and uh, I counted 17 that I caught basically in these two spots. Uh, so my time spent here was definitely served best. Now for the setup, even though the big ones will give you a tiny little fight, on the Thora, this is, I feel like, the best setup. Um, it casts very well with these lures on it. And it's a 19-pound river ream, or uh, big river and 19 pound braid and 21 pound thora now if you're a person uh that wants a different pole setup that doesn't fight as much you can use the low key also the single spoon is the second option on lure the low key can work it doesn't cast as well it's not a pull i'm generally a fan of but in this particular situational moment it's not a terrible pull but generally a low key to me, um, once you unlock all the poles, you won't generally use it a whole lot. Um, with the 26.6 braid and a Griffin Spot 10,000. The reason for the Griffin Spot is every normal reel around this level is very slow recovery. Another reason I have an issue with this pole. And when you're using heavy lures, and this is a heavy lure pole, you can't throw anything lower than 7 8 ounce without being pretty much non-effective. Um, you, you need that fast recovery to keep stuff in the water where you want it so it just doesn't instantly sag to the bottom. And that's why I'm using the Griffin Spot. And I'm using it on half power. So if you look at the bottom right corner, you can see, oh, let me get to a better spot. You can see you want it on half of your real of your drag power guys um and then it's a very usable setup and they won't fight as much the reason i will probably most likely use the thor again like i have in the past is even though they fight me a tiny bit it's not very much and because i've done this enough i know that i'm not catching unique walleye if you're catching big unique walleyes or trophy walleyes and a lot of other stuff that means you you need to make adjustment. You're too low in the water, or you're using the not a good lure um, for it. But anyway, hopefully this helps you out, guys. And keep in mind, I will stream, so it might be a very random time. It's whenever I can get time today. It obviously is not going to be right away. Um, it definitely can't be the first two or three hours of the tournament is up, because I will not be here 
uh, when that happens. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.